What's going on kids? Uh, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to set up your TurnG T1000FC plus GPS. Uh, this is an autopilot system with return to launch or return to home for your fixed wing aircraft. Uh, this is the second batch that Hobby King made so there's a slight difference from the first one. Um, I believe on the first batch with the GPS connected to the flight controller you have four flight modes I believe or five uh, now you only have three and also without the GPS you also only have three so um, that's without GPS you have manual mode 3d and leveling mode with the GPS you have leveling altitude and attitude mode and then GPS meaning return to home. Alright so uh, before we begin I just want to let you know that I'm going to be doing this with the GPS connected because uh, eventually you're going to hook it up that's why I bought it for anyway for a return to home and you want to make sure that your plane is perfectly trimmed flies perfect without the FC of course the flight controller um, because uh, if it's not trim, it's out of balance, it doesn't fly well, you know, the CG is not good on it, the FC is going to go berserk and it's going to nose dive. It basically can't compensate for, you know, uh, it can't compensate enough for a bad flying plane. So, there you go. When you set up your radio, um, when you start a new model, you're going to pick uh, Acro, not Heli, or not Glider, just Acro, okay? And no mixing is going to be done at all whatsoever on the radio because that's going to be done on the flight controller itself. So the dip switches are right here. Uh, if you're using a wing or a regular um, aileron, elevator, and you know, um, rudder type plane or a V tail or any other uh, type of plane, all of that's going to be done on the flight controller by flipping the dip switches up or down all right there's not going to be any mixing done on the radio all right next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the radio and uh the fail safe for your flight controller so turn on your radio uh, make sure you start with a fresh model that way all your trims are zeroed out no sub trims or anything like that now we're going to go to settings and go to auxiliary channel and set channel 6 to pitch trim that would be this knob right here right there all right and then hit enter yeah well, we're gonna wire up your flight controller and the way I have it set up is uh, both uh, the servos for aileron is going to channel well going to elevator out and aileron out which is right there aileron out elevator out for the two servos and for your autopilot that goes to channel 6 on your receiver and Elevator in and aileron out, I mean aileron in, goes to channel 1 and 2 on your receiver. As far as the ESC, the throttle, that goes straight into channel 3 on your receiver. Because this flight controller doesn't control throttle, so you have to set that up in the receiver itself as far as failsafe. Alright, now that your radio and your flight controller is all set up we are gonna set up fail safe now we're gonna go to display on your transmitter that way you know what's going on as far as the flight modes um, channel 6 is FLP all right which is controlled by this knob and that's how you those are the different flight modes
with that channel all the way up on this knob um, you can see the green light blinking twice and the red light is going to be constantly blinking so with the green light blinking twice that means that you are on leveling mode all right the green glitter double time that's a uh, standard chinglish for you and you can hear as I turn this dial down that it's gonna and you just went into a different flight mode now the green lights only blinking once and the red lights constantly blinking that means you are in altitude and attitude mode and the uh, green light glitters single time and we're gonna dial this down some more and that kicks it into fail safe which is the green light solid and the red lights blinking which is GPS mode glitter continuously uh, on the red light and light continuously on the green so yeah green light solid red light blinks that means that you're on failsafe and that's what we want to do right now is set up the failsafe and uh, how you want to do this is that you want to apply throttle by pushing you know your throttle stick up I would suggest uh, slightly above 50% depending on your model um, basically the cruising speed you want to set it on that way when you fly out of range um, you're gonna have enough throttle to fly your plane back uh, if you set the throttle too low it might stall and drop down or hit a tree or something so you want to make sure you have plenty of throttle throttle to you know fly your model back I'm not gonna do that right now because my fail safe is already set so yeah just basically push your throttle just I don't know maybe 60% 70% throttle and make sure the flight controllers lights are solid green and the blinking red once that's all you set up take a sharp tool this one came with the flight controller it's a little screwdriver phillips head and you are gonna press that little button inside your receiver just press it quickly and that's it unplug the battery power off your transmitter and your failsafe should be set. Now we're gonna set up the flight mode switch. Um, instead of using the three position blah, 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 three position switch for your flight modes, I decided to use the gear uh, switch for the flight mode, which is this top uh, right over here. Um, because I, I didn't want to set up fail safe on a switch I figured you know once you fly out of range or turn off your transmitter the fail safe is already gonna kick in I I really didn't find it necessary to have a third switch to kick in fail safe you know if you really want fail safe on a switch just turn off your transmitter so we're gonna set up flight modes on the gear switch right here so let's get started go to settings Go to auxiliary channel and we're going to change the channel 6 over to gear and then hit enter, well menu. And then we're going to go over to endpoint. Alright, when you're in endpoint, you're going to go over to FLP, which is right there I need to zoom in a little bit yeah. and put it on 40 on the first row on the first number and then 80 on the second number so that means that the up switch on the gear on this gear pressing it up towards you would be 40 pressing it back would be 80 all right, and then hit enter. And that basically sets up your flight modes as with the gear switch up, that means it's in leveling mode. 
with the gear switch back that means that you're on attitude and altitude mode basically it's heading hold and altitude hold so that means that your ailerons or elevators you don't have any input on it the plane will fly on that steady course all right so now that you have your radio and flight modes and everything wired up i'm just going to show you exactly how it's working so far so uh, once you start up your radio you're going to have your flight switch or your gear switch pushed back and that's going to be your leveling mode uh, that's going to be uh, blinking green light it blinks twice and then the red light is going to be continuously blinking with the flight with the gear switch pushed towards you that's going to be attitude and altitude mode meaning you're heading hold and altitude hold mode and it's going to be one one blinking green light and blinks once and then a constantly blinking red light and now we're going to make sure that your control surfaces are going in the right direction so if you pull down on the elevator pull down on the elevator so both the ailerons should move up you push up on the stick elevator stick they should go down you're gonna push up and you can see it go down all right and you're gonna put push the stick to the right the right wing the right aileron should go up and the left aileron should go down so push the stick to the right right aileron goes up left goes down and if you push the stick to the left you should be reverse push the stick to the left the left aileron goes up and the right goes down and now next is you want to make sure that your flight controller is compensating the right way um, this is controlled by these knobs all right um, normal and reverse that means that if you turn the knob or the pots all the way to normal it's gonna compensate in that direction and also adjust the gain at the same time but if you're compensating meaning if you're ailerons are compensating the wrong way you have to turn the pots the opposite way that way it goes to the right direction basically so we're gonna try that now all right so if I right now we're in leveling mode so if I tilt the plane up both your ailerons should go down you see it going down if I tilt it down, the aileron should go up. It's hard to see that way. See, it's going up. If I tilt the plane up, it goes down. All right, so that means it's compensating the right way. Now we're gonna check the roll, see if it's compensating in the right direction. So if I tilt the wing to the right, the left aileron should go up and the right aileron should go down. And then it goes uh, reverse on the other side. If I tilt the wing to the left, the right aileron goes up, left aileron goes down. So that means it's it's going in the right direction. So if it's not, just reverse the pots on the aileron or the elevator and that should correct itself. And also on your control stick, if it's not going the right direction, you reverse it in your transmitter. All right not on the flight controller that's separate on the transmitter meaning if it's not going the right way the control surfaces are not going the right direction it's supposed to when you move the stick you reverse it on the transmitter if you tilt all right that was my daughter decided to ruin or interrupt the video um where was i yeah um when you tilt the plane it should be compensating in the right direction like i said before and if it's not adjust it on the pots on there either reverse or normal now to set the home position 
for your GPS, you're going to have to do this every time you fly at a new location. Uh, and that's easy. It's by pressing that button right there inside the hole that says set. Now, uh, once you power up your plane, you're going to have to let it sit there for about five minutes before pressing that button just to make sure that the GPS this acquires enough satellites so that it, it's a lot more accurate as far as the home position is. Alright, so just let it sit there for five minutes and then press and hold that button for about three seconds and the red light will stop blinking, it'll turn solid. Once that's solid, just let it go and your home position is set. And that's about it because people are starting to show up in my house and it's getting noisy. So if you have any questions, comment down below, uh, like if it was helpful, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.